final. Two changes from the eight that took gold medals in Yugoslavia last year for Italy. They've been the fastest crew here so far this week. Denmark on the far side in lane one. Australia, the home nation, in two. Italy in three. West Germany next to them in four. United States in five. And the Nottingham County eight representing Great Britain, nearest to the camera, in lane six. Chris Bailey? Certainly the Italians are the crew to watch. They're going for their sixth consecutive title here, and the stern pair actually were rowing in the crew in 1985, which first started the sequence of this. Uh, they've been unbeaten in Europe, rowed very fast at Lucerne to win by nearly a length from the British crew, which is going to be nearest to the camera in lane one. But this stage, early stage of the race, what a great picture. We see all the eights lying abreast, heading off from the start, trying to settle into a good, strong rhythm to see themselves over the course. And Nottingham County, who rather felt they might have been chosen to represent Britain quite a long time before this, have now got a point to prove, Chris. Absolutely. They were without doubt the fastest crew in Britain last year, but as a result of uh, a selection argument with the Director of International Rowing last year, they were not selected for the World Championships. This is a seven of the same eight men from last year who once again have had a very successful domestic season with a brilliant win at Henley. Um, they went on to Lucerne where they became second to the Italians and here they want to get right in with it. They've had a slightly unsettled uh, period during the World Championships. They didn't row well in their heat where they were very slow off the start. In the repercharge they did the reverse and went very rather too fast and actually faded away rather badly. But here they seem to be rowing a very mature race. They're tracking the Italians who have always led off the start, but they're within touch. And we're looking down the Italian boat who've got the best part of a boat length. Giuseppe Lamberti, their cox, pushing them along at a pretty good rate. Very good grip, these Italians get. Nice light tailwind to help them through. Strongish wind. It's Denmark at the top of the picture in lane one in second place, and Great Britain at the moment in the bronze medal position at the bottom of your picture, nearest to the camera. And Denmark were the silver medalists from last year. Again, a very good record of uh, lightweight performances, and they too could be a crew to watch. But they were beaten at Henley by the Nottingham mate in the semi-final of the Thames Cup. They've still got very largely the eight who were second in bled last year. 500 metres to go. The Danes often uh, take the first half of the season quite uh, leisurely. They also tend to keep their weight up. They don't actually come down to racing weight, which for the lightweight oarsman is 70 kilos, around 11 stone. And uh, they tend to stay away from that until near the World Championships. S still the Italians making the pace. Denmark in second, Great Britain in third. Conditions really good for a fast race. And the... Italians making the pace, that's the Australians in the back of the picture there, but I don't think they are in a medal position once we see the crews from square on. Italy lead. Holding their form through the later stages of the race. It's going to be their gold medals, but what's it going to be between Denmark on the far side and Great Britain on the near side? Very little in it as we look at it from above. Certainly gold for Italy, but who will take silver and who will take bronze? Denmark at the top or Great Britain nearest to us? That's not absolutely square on and that's slightly deceptive, that picture. It's between Great Britain and Denmark, certainly gold for the Italians. Their home, Denmark take the silver and Britain take the bronze. And that's our second bronze medal placing of these world championships. A great result for the, for the Nottingham crew. I think that's well, well deserved. They rode a very mature race there. They didn't uh, go off too fast and uh, pay for it in the second half of the course. And I think that was a very good row on their behalf. So a triumph for the Italians and another vindication of Lake Barrington. That's another world best time. And Great Britain in the bronze medal position, less than three seconds behind them. Just confirmation of the placings, Italy gold, Denmark silver, a very good bronze for Great Britain.